Hi, I'm Brandon with Sioux Falls Fire and Rescue. I'm a fire inspector. And today I'm gonna to talk about some smoke alarms, some different types of smoke alarms you might have in your house, the importance of smoke alarms inside your house and how to install them. In 2012, 2016, the National Fire Protection Agency did a study on all the structured fires in the United States. They found that 75% of those structured fires had smoke detectors. And out of those 75%, only 50% worked at the time of the fire. A couple main reasons why they didn't work is one, they were outdated, and two, the batteries weren't replaced in them. So most people might not know that smoke detectors do have a lifespan. Uh, it's 10 years. Uh, a good way to check that lifespan is going to be on the back of the smoke detector. A couple things you're going to look for, there's going to be usually a sticker on the back of the smoke detector that's going to have the date on it. So if it was 2009, the smoke detector would be out of date. If there is no sticker on the back of the smoke detector, it's out of date, okay? Also a good thing to look at if they're discolored like this right here. This is white, this is kind of turning yellow. That's another good indicator that it's time to replace your smoke detectors. A lot of people uh, really don't have a clue where to start replacing their smoke detectors. There's a couple different things you have to look for. The first one is, are your smoke detectors connected together? Are they interwired? What that means is the wires are connected from the, house, the power source of the house to the smoke detector itself. Okay, so you're going to have this little harness right here in the junction box itself, and the harness right here is going to be connected to the wires of the house, and this will be connected to the smoke detector. So if that is you, you do have interconnected smoke detectors, what you need to do is take down your smoke detector, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in a little bit, but you take down the smoke detector, go to your, le or your local hardware shop, uh, ask for someone that is knowledgeable about smoke detectors, and they're going to show you what smoke detector you need to take so you can bring it back to your house. Sometimes you will run into problems when you get a new smoke detector. The harness is outdated and uh, it's not going to connect directly with the, smoke, or the harness they give you. So they do make these little interchangeable uh, jumpers that we call them. And what they'll do is they'll connect to the wires inside your box or to the harness inside your box and then it will plug right into your smoke detector. A couple different smoke detectors we have here are going to be this one right here. Actually, it has a battery inside it. It's a 10-year encased battery. These are super nice because you don't have to change the batteries twice a year. After the 10-year lifespan is up on it, they just beep at you. You take it down from the wall, throw it away, and put a new one up. Other ones that we have, this one is you can just throw up the wall. It does include a battery. It does not have to be uh, plugged into the wiring inside your house. Only thing you have to keep in mind with this, these batteries do go dead and we should change them out twice a year. A couple other smoke detectors I'd like to show you guys is going to be this one right here. What's really cool and unique about this smoke detector is we call it a combination detector. A combination detector acts as two different devices. The first one's going to be your regular smoke alarm. The second one is going to be a carbon monoxide alarm. So it's super important to have both these in your house. Carbon monoxide is a silent killer. Um, carbon monoxide is about the same weight as air, so if you have any issue with your furnace or your fireplace or your stove, it's malfunctioning, it's off-gassing that carbon monoxide, it can't fill up your house, you're not going to know it, bad things can happen. It's important to have these outside our living area. So if we're sleeping inside of our bedroom, and we have two bedrooms upstairs or three bedrooms upstairs, we need to have a carbon monoxide outside of the bedroom. If you have bedrooms downstairs, you need to have a carbon monoxide outside your bedroom. It's recommended to have one carbon monoxide detector on each floor. That's what makes these carbon monoxide detect or these combination detectors nice. They function as both smoke and carbon or carbon monoxide. Now we're going to head upstairs to show you guys how to safely install a smoke detector. That process can include taking the old smoke detector down and putting up the new one. A couple things you're going to need is a ladder that is uh, that's safe to climb up and climb down on, and of course a drill or a screwdriver. This video is going to be geared towards those that are able to install their smoke detectors at home. Those of you that have the proper tools and a ladder to safely do it. For those of you that don't, are not able to climb up a ladder or just do not have the tools, 
you can give Sioux Falls Fire uh, Rescue a call at Fire Prevention and we'll come out and get you guys taken care of. We're upstairs now. This is just what a typical bedroom looks like. Most people might notice that the smoke alarms are uh, on top of the ceiling. This one is down from the wall. That is okay. Um, obviously, we don't want to put it down on the floor because we all know smoke rises. So somewhere about 12 inches down from the ceiling will work perfectly. So I'm going to show you how to take this off. Uh, it's pretty easy. Just like you're tightening or loosening something, we're going to turn this counterclockwise. So to our left, it's going to pop right off the wall. As you can see, it's going to be interconnected. Okay, you have three wires. You have either an orange or a red, a black, and a white. That orange or red wire is going to be what interconnects the smoke detectors throughout the house. That's what makes them talk. So if I have a smoke detector that goes off downstairs, this one's going to go off at the same time. It's kind of nice. So on the back here, there's the plug-in. I'm just going to take that plug and I'm going to wiggle it off. Now I have taken that smoke detector off. Here's the plate. Most of the plates do need to be taken off as well. So I'm going to take my drill, unloosen these screws. You don't have to take them all the way out. So just loosen them up to get the plate off. And they may be stuck to the wall a little bit. So you want to be careful. Sometimes you might want to take a knife to cut around the paint. If it's been painted over a lot, you're just going to kind of pry it off. There's the plate. So as you notice, both these smoke detectors do the exact same thing. Okay, they detect smoke, but they're completely different. This one right here is a first alert, and this one right here is a kitty. Same thing, different smoke detectors. If you look on the back, they have different plugins. So what that means is this plugin right here is not going to work for this smoke detector that I need to put up here. That's where this little jumper comes in place. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line these up with the prongs and I'm going to connect it. You're going to hear a nice little click. You can give it a little bit of a tug and it should be nice and secure. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the base and we're going to put it up here. So one thing that I do notice is the box they put in is just a regular handy box. It's square. Most houses you're going to have a round box. That is still okay. We're going to make it work. I'm going to put this on here. And we're going to tighten it up. As you notice with this detector, the batteries on the outside are on the top of it. All you got to do is go ahead and push that down. Most people might wonder, well, why is there a battery on if it's interconnected? It's a great question. In 1989, when a new edition of NFPA 70 came out, it stated that all new construction houses must have hardwired smoke detectors. It also stated that smoke detectors have to have two sources of power power from the house and power from the battery. These batteries still need to be changed out about once a year. Uh, as you notice when I go ahead and put this up, so I'm going to click this together. I'm going to snap it in. It's nice and tight. I'm going to put it on the base. As you can see, this is going to blink about once every 30 seconds. What that is telling us is, yes, the battery is working. It's doing a battery check once every 30 seconds. So there you go. You have it nice and secured to the wall. Looks nice and good. We usually push and we test it. I'm not going to test it now, but you push and test it and go on to the next smoke detector. So we just got done installing the hardwired detector. Now we're going to install a detector that is not hardwired, just battery operated. So you're going to need, again, a drill for this. Um, you'll need your smoke detector and some screws. All the smoke detectors that you get in the box, there will be some screws. I like to use sheetrock screws and you don't have to use sheetrock anchors. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want it. I'm going to go hold and hold it. Remember, you want to be about 12 inches down from the ceiling. Now I'll grab the second screw. And I'll go ahead and put that second screw in there. Make sure it's nice and snug. Then I'll grab my smoke detector. And remember, righty-tighty with this. 
put it in there, snug it right. So as you can see, installing smoke detectors is pretty simple if you have the right tools and the means to do it. Uh, installing this smoke detector can pay big dividends in you and your family's life. Super important to have them. If you guys need more help, give us a call and we'll be sure to get out to you. I can't understate the importance of having up-to-date smoke detectors, checking your batteries, there's a little saying that's called one, two, ten. One is to maintenance your smoke detectors once a month, test them, make sure they're nice and clean. Two means change the batteries out twice a year. And ten means that once this life or this smoke detector is aged to ten years, it's time to replace a new one. Having working smoke detectors in the house is important. Nowadays, with the materials that we use to make the houses, the materials of our furniture, you have about three minutes by the time the fire starts to safely get out of the house. Having these smoke detectors is going to be super critical to early uh, acknowledgement of the fire so you and your family can safely get out.